Nintendo Switch. Let me show you what's going on. It is pulling 15 volts at 0.51 amps, but it doesn't appear to be charging. Wait for it. There we go. It's throwing an error code 21010001. I do believe this is an M92T36 error, but we need to get it apart, test around, and see what's going on. On the PSU, it would just sit there at 0.41, but it wouldn't actually throw the error code. It didn't throw the error code until I put it on the OEM charger. And we didn't break rule number one. The port is fine. It's sound. We checked that before. Let's stop down and do some preliminary tests. When you take off the back cover of the switch, this is the orientation of the board. And these are our common fault testing zones that we'll be following. We'll start at the N92T36, work our way up to the MOSFETs and test pads, and then over to the BQ241A3 on side B. And actually, before we do anything, we can tell that there is a very obvious problem. There is corrosion around the N92T36 which prompts me to want to take a look around the rest of the board. It's a very odd place for just random corrosion. And even more odd, I see no more corrosion anywhere else on the board because we are communicating with the m 92 t 36 because we're pulling 15 volts. What I would like to do here is clean up this corrosion and test again and see what happens. For that, we're gonna use our ultrasonic toothbrush and some IPA. Could be a case of the corrosion was just shorting something, or I never want to assume something's dead until we are proven otherwise. Let's see if our behavior changes or if we're just going to end up throwing an error message again. However, this is the first time it has booted. We're going to monitor this for a little bit and let it charge up. And if it fully charges and doesn't throw us another error in the next, I would say, half hour, we're going to have to just call it there. I hope you're getting value out of this video. If you find this something you're not ready to tackle just yet, just a reminder, I do offer these services both local and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you a 10% discount on this repair. Let's perform one more test. I want to hook up the Joy-Cons, make sure everything's charging fine with that. We're up to about 30% at this point without throwing an error. The Joy-Cons could cause something. We'll see. And no, they are charging fine. As you can see, we're pulling about one amp, 15 volts. So I'm gonna say that probably solved our problem. We can rename this channel to the ultrasonic toothbrush channel. If a problem does arise, we'll of course uh, film a follow-up, but uh, I don't foresee that happening. So if you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one and I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.